tensions between the Date and the Hatakayama were beginning to get out of hand. Yoshitsugu, the lord of the Hatakayama, attempted many times to create peace between the two clans, but the hot-blooded Date Mazumune refused every time. Yoshitsugu reached out to Mazumune's father, Terumune, to try and mediate the situation. This solution seemed to work pretty well. They ate together, and the next day, Yoshitsugu came to visit Terumune in order to thank him for the meal. But once he arrived, Yoshitsugu kidnapped Terumune instead. When Mazumune discovered this, he flew into a rage, gathered an army, and chased after Yoshitsugu. They found the kidnappers at Abukuma River. They could have slaughtered them all there, but Yoshitsugu was holding Terumune as a hostage. Terumune shouted for his son to fire on the Hatakayama without worrying about his safety, but Mazamune hesitated to do something so cold-blooded. In the confusion, his father was killed and Yoshitsugu managed to escape. An enraged Mazamune went to war with the Hatakayama, but Date wasn't just at war with the Hatakayama, but also their allies, including the Ashina, Soma, Satake, and many other factions. They established an army of 30,000 men against the much smaller Date force of 7,000 men. This army threatened Mazamune at Motemiya Castle. Mazamune organized his force into a defensive position and decided to make use of the forts in his possession. The Hatakayama quickly took control of three of his four fortresses. After this substantial loss, one of Mazamune's most important retainers was killed in a duel with a Hatakayama foe. Mazamune attempted to defeat the enemy forces at Hidatori Bridge, but was defeated and forced to retreat back to Motomiya Castle. Mazamune likely accepted that this was the end. They were vastly outnumbered and had lost any advantages they once had. Every chance they had to turn the tide of the battle had failed, and they now had no choice but to go down honourably. It would be an easy win for the Hatakeyama now. However, the next day, instead of finally crushing their enemies, they chose not to advance. In fact, a large portion of the army packed up and went home instead. The commander of this force had to go and defend his land, which was being attacked by one of his enemies. The rest of the force was so dismayed by this, they retreated as well. Miraculously, Date had managed to survive, and he would make sure Hatakama and its allies would live to regret the day they ever let him live. Mazamune was a hot-blooded and aggressive man, and had been this way since childhood. Masamune lost the use of his right eye as a child after catching a disease. When a senior member of his clan pointed out that an enemy could grab it fighting him, Masamune ripped it out himself. This, combined with his aggressiveness, is how he gained the nickname One-Eyed Dragon of Oshu. In 1589, Masamune defeated the Soma. He then bribed a major Ashina retainer. After this, he put together a large army and marched for the Ashina headquarters at Kurokawa. They fought at Suryagahara. Mazamune demolished the Ashina, who were forced to flee. But Mazamune would show no mercy. He had cut off their escape route by destroying the Nitsubashi Bridge, which meant the fleeing men either drowned or were slaughtered. After this victory, Mazamune was ordered to work with Hideyoshi and aid him in the siege of Odawara Castle. 
Toyotomi was essentially the ruler of Japan, so he didn't have a choice. He did help, but he waited a while for his spies to let him know who the likely winner was before deciding to join. He arrived late because of this. After the victory, he was treated badly by Hideyoshi and resented this. When the opportunity arrived, he began working with Tokugawa Ieyasu, who fought against the Toyotomi loyalists. He helped Tokugawa establish his own shogunate and gained a lot in return because of this. The one-eyed dragon never stopped being his unusual and aggressive self, even as he got older. An example of this is during the 1615 Siege of Osaka. Tokugawa's forces were fighting the remnants of the Toyotomi clan. During the battle, Mazamune felt some of his allies weren't being aggressive enough, so he ordered his men to fire some shots in their direction to kick them into gear. During the battle, Mazamune fought with another famous samurai, Sanda Yukimura. Yukimura was a hero for the Toyotomi forces, so when he died, their morale died with him, and the battle was soon won after that.